Hey scientists, let's talk about food webs. Have you ever been eating and stopped to wonder why? Energy. You and all other living organisms need energy. You get all of your energy from a variety of foods that you eat, like hamburgers, chicken strips, and salads. But let's think. Where did those delicious lettuce bites get their energy from? From the sun. Yes, our sun. All the energy that living things use to eat comes from the sun. The sun's energy is used by plants or producers to make and produce their own energy. Plants can then be eaten or consumed by consumers. Consumers are any organism that eat to get energy. But consumers aren't just limited to eating producers or plants. They can also eat other consumers as well. There are even organisms that get their energy from eating dead material and they're called decomposers because they take dead material and decompose it into smaller pieces in soil. Let's take a look at a local park to see producers, consumers, and some decomposers interacting. Okay, first let's look for some producers. I see a lot of grass in this park. Grass is a producer that makes its own energy from the sun. Now, let's find something that eats grass. A cricket. Now he's a consumer because he has to eat grass to get his energy. Let's draw an arrow following the flow of energy from the grass to the cricket. Since the cricket eats the grass, the arrow points to him since he gets all the energy from the grass. Now let's find a bird that eats a cricket. A finch is also a consumer since he has to eat crickets to get energy. Now what we've made is a food chain. But in nature, it isn't that clean and easy. Instead of just these three organisms, there would actually be hundreds of more organisms. Let's say that the finch also eats nuts from the tree. And maybe a snake comes in and he eats some of those crickets. But he also eats birds. Goodbye, little bird friend. Uh, and maybe there's a hawk circling around. And he eats birds and snakes. But even more, when these animals all die, some decomposers will come in and we'll have bacteria and worms and fungi that will start to break them down. Now what we've made is a food web. A food web is a network of food chains that follow the flow of energy in an ecosystem. Now let's take a look at some questions.